is the one that's getting all the praise here. I have a question for Adam, but unfortunately Adam has poofed into a cloud. He's gone now. What was the question? Uh, where can we find the photo you said you could post of the manganese nodule that was sawed open for the last dive? Yeah, I can't answer that question, so. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you can Probably on Twitter. It. I'm sure, like, they'll take a picture and, like, post it on, like, Twitter or Instagram or something. Or you can follow me and I'll post it on my personal account. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm Instagram. at... <laughs> <laughs> follow me at... <laughs> Are we ever going on the other side of the islands? Not in this expedition, but I will not say never. There's much more exploration to be done. We did only get a small snapshot of each place, so mm -hmm. who knows what's really there? Well, now that we have this transect along the flanks of each one of these seamounts, people will be able to review the video and maybe make proposals to come back to this location to do further research. Yep. Uh, the first step is to know what's there. Um, you know, we had never explored these seamounts. We didn't know what to expect. Like the those nodule fields that we were seeing, not all seamounts have areas like that. And that might be a place of interest for future re research because it could be a unique feature to this seamount chain or, um, you know, maybe... This is something that's seen on other seamounts. We've just never explored areas where uh, nodule fields like that exist. Maybe as a function of how old the seamount is. Um, that's why we're seeing those nodule fields and not on uh, other seamounts in this area. There are a lot of questions that could be asked and those are just the few that came to the top of my head. Well, I've got a rock question. I know the answer, but I know the answer to most of these questions. I just throw them out so that I don't have to do a lot of talking. Um, has anyone found trash or soda cans coated with a manganese crust? Would you like to talk about how long it takes to develop a manganese crust <laughs> versus how long humans have been throwing trash into the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it takes um, it takes about a million years uh, for a crust to grow one to ten millimeters. Humans have been alive for, what, 100,000 years? So you probably wouldn't get a crust on a piece of trash. Especially because humans didn't start making trash, like aluminum cans and like plastics and stuff until, what is that, the 20th century, I guess? I don't know, maybe a little bit before. Maybe the 18th century? Wait, no. We were just, no, like, oh, like definitely Like tin cans no. and tin stuff? Tin cans, I guess yeah. those were before. Those would probably dissolve before they got manganese crust though yeah, yeah probably so only thing that might form crust on it would be like plastics that don't dissolve or yeah. break down but we'll probably won't be alive to see that yep i i will not be alive to see you're that. you're not planning on living a few million years i don't want to no oh. i can find i'm healthy i'm cool no <laughs> i <laughs> No. <laughs> so much time, I could learn so many things. Not for me. Lounge about. Check out the Argus, Kim. Yeah, There's what is that? Siphonophore. Uh, -huh. uh What is the claw doing now? Exercising. They're just working it and uh, exploring, seeing what it can do. Yeah. We've got uh, Antonella on the uh, controls right now. You know, Hercules worked out more than I did on this on this expedition. Oh, yeah. Me here. <laughs> Uh, so that whale skull was old, old. Yeah, that whale skull was old, old. Old, old, yes. Yep. Correct. There goes that siphonophore. Bye. Uh, 
Uh, someone's asking any fish tails. You mean like the one that got away? Well, there was this crab once. It did not get away. No, no, I meant the one that I tried to catch with a plastic bag. It oh. definitely got away. Because <laughs> I was on the Washington coast in like October and it was freezing. And I had a plastic bag to go try to catch a crab on a whim. That didn't work out. I don't think plastic bags are, you know, standard field equipment for crab crabbing. Here's the deal. I'm pretty sure I could have gotten it in the bag. Okay. Beyond that. Then I what would you do <laughs> if you got a crab in a bag? Uh, keeping the crab in the bag would have been an issue. Um, like, yeah, the crab would totally, like, break open your bag. Yeah, and, like, probably take me out, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it would pinch you. And it wouldn't be pleasant. I did not think... Super ahead. Step one was get in the water to the crab, which we, did, we didn't get past step one. I guess step one was gather the materials, did that. But uh, step two was get in, which I couldn't, I couldn't even step in. I would have only had to wade like, I don't know, six inches. Like it was not deep, but it was cold. Yeah.
No, you don't. Dan or Gabby, um, I mean, <laughs> Dan, Josh or Gabby, uh, a question came in asking, does descending go slower than ascending or are they the same? Descending actually goes quicker, I believe. At a rate of about uh, 30 meters SPL per second. I was trying to talk to you guys. Kelly was trying to talk to you guys on SPO. It's all right, I got it. Go ahead, Kelly. Oh, it's okay. We got the answer. But the question was, does descending go slower than ascending, or are they the same? Oh, yes. Um, have we been stowing that scoop for recovery, Josh? I think, I don't know. Uh, there's some There's some theory that it disappears if you don't. Yeah, I could. But that front box is so full of stuff. We could put it in the stuff. side one, maybe? But I don't know, it might drift away uh, if we could hang on to it. Just put it in uh, Mongo. Yeah. Are you talking about the scoop? Yeah. Is 
that why the camera's in a weird position? Because the scoop's uh, not I, secure? I, I actually don't know why. They were, I think, Antonella was just practicing with the... Oh, okay. Trying to grab them. <clears throat> we could put it in... Uh, Put it where? We could give it to the ISC arm. How would you want to do that? Just grab the little, like, flimsy thing on the end, maybe? Uh, no, let's give them past the handle. Can you get both? Oh, I'll just watch. Ooh, that is a spicy wrist. <laughs> yeah. I can also, if you want, I can show you how I tend to grab the... Oh, the... The, uh, the pucks? Oh, okay, with the... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because I think what people tend to do is they... They try and, like, kind of... I don't know, to think about it for a sec. They kind of, like, try and reach over like that and get it. Like that. And that's hard. So usually everything that I do no matter actually what I'm doing, is I try and face the arm of the azimuth towards what I want to get. Oh, okay. Okay, so in this instance, when I do that, because I got the long fingers, yeah. it's way too, like I'm too low. Right. Right, even with, so shoul even with shoulder up all the way, I'm way then too you, low. Right? Then you've got elbow up, yaw so, down. So I'm going to face uh, it, and I'm going to go over top of it, Yeah. and then come back okay. underneath to get it. And now I'm over top. Yeah. And now it's like when you're... You have the azimuth, so I got a little bit of shoulder, yeah, right, which I need. So it's giving me all the joint movements. I have every single joint movement that I need, right, to position yourself to get over it. it. Right, yeah. I have more shoulder than I need, all kind of stuff, and that's just that movement. And now at this point, when I'm right, right there, yeah, no problem, no problemo. That's the position. Okay. So you just kind of like shoulder up, and then you're gonna yep. pitch back, and then you're right over top of it. Okay. So same idea here. This is also even a more difficult kind of spot. I have less trouble with the scoop because it's an easy thing, like, because it's got a nice handle. Yeah. The scoop's I'm actually not, not going to grab it by that. I'm going to grab it by this. Oh, that's what I was wondering. There we go. And hopefully I don't drop it and send it down into the this. Got bubble. Is that jaw open all the way? Can you just that's yeah, it's the open. ISC's open. Ready? Yep. Wow. That was very suspenseful. <laughs> In the best of ways. Yep. Two arms working together as one. Okay. I was just surprised that the, the second arm, the jaw doesn't open as far. Maybe we'll do... Uh it looks like a, a dinosaur head almost. I was gonna say it looks like a turtle head. Yeah, yeah a turtle head. <laughs> a <little jaws> on. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid to roll that wrist. It's so spicy. Yeah, maybe just uh, azimuth right over the porch, so it's not all sticking out. Yeah, I want to kind of flatten it out though.
Okay, are we done with the craft? Yeah. We saved the scoop from a fate worse than, I don't know, whatever happens to scoops when their fates are bad. Good grief. How are things going, Aaron? They're going well. Thank you. <laughs> I realized I had sat down and not said hi or checked in or anything. That's OK. I was spaced out. I looked over, and you looked busy. Yeah. I, I mean, busy is a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> busy is one way to put it, I guess. Your wow, maps look those, nice, though. Those sea mounts are pretty wild looking. They just like like. Like oh, the little, little like chocolate chips or something. <laughs> yeah, the little donuts. They're not. Yeah. they're not that tall. They're not tall enough to be sea mouse, but they are super cute. <laughs> they're, they're so cute. They're oh, so wow. like just like bubble bubble. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this one's pretty cute. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, just, just until adorable. this moment, I never thought of a sea flora feature as being cute, but those <laughs> are super cute. They're just little guys. Yeah, that one's super small. What are they about? Do we know what they are? I think it's just like early stage volcanism, but okay. I'm not completely sure. Anybody smarter back there? Nope, nope. Okay, we'll go with my. <laughs> yeah, no, I was just, I was gonna agree with you. Maybe like yeah, you know, like cinder cone volcanism, something or other. I'm not sure. Something yeah. volcano-y. Yeah, like they yeah, look, look, little hills. They look fun. They look interesting. Yeah, but they're not super high. That was a good day. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was fun Brutal. for everyone. I could just tell that. We I'm like getting a little seasick just <laughs> looking at that. We were all having a really good time that day. It was like seven, seven good pings of data. <laughs> just trying to get ahead of the game. I don't know if we'll be acquiring any data on the way in. Sounds like we're going to be hustling in. Yeah, is that the story? Argus up and then. I think you know more. I tail it. Than most oh, of us. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, we got to be back by 6 or something. 6 a.m. Yeah. on the 20th. And weather. Is there weather? I think there's. Uh, yeah. It's been some well, talk of weather. I mean, not bad. I think just more than now. Yeah. There's only like three gaps and they're all right on the side of Kauai. So once right. we're down there, we could just sure. shut it down. Done before we hit port. Always so much fun. <laughs> what do you have to do to get Argus ready for our little mini dive? <coughs> uh, well, we're going to remove the yellow tether. So it will not be connected to Herc anymore. And I think we're going to swap the cameras. So we're going to put the Zeus Plus on instead of the mini Zeus. Uh, that's he's that's lots of work in those words. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, then it's pre-dive it. I think that's that's it now. We, we're gonna do a few other things, but now we're changing the plan. So uh, be that and pre-dive. Sounds good. Yeah. Is it a down and up, or are we gonna move a bit down there with Argus? Oh, the as far as the dive plan. Yeah. Uh, I've heard a few different things. I think maybe we're just gonna kind of cruise from top to top, or oh, something. We want to just look at the tops of a few different ones, maybe. That sounds exciting. The amount of time we have, so it's only a couple thousand meters. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Cool. Just gonna. But I I don't know. Don't. That's a very. That's ship rumors right there. <laughs> 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 Super mega unofficial. <laughs> it's most of her though. That sounds exciting. It's like you can speed up a little bit. Let's so can the, is it possible for the scoop to be back, 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 it back to the? Uh, What's that? Is it possible? Is the scoop 
can it magnet back on now? Or is it? We could put it on the magnet. We could put it right on the IC arm if we wanted. <laughs> yeah, we could. There's a magnet on there. So just, just stick it anywhere. <laughs> I'm just sitting here thinking if we see a whale right now, you know, I'm going to want this shot. Oh, we'll, oh, uh, yeah. we'll yeah. azimuth we out. Move. We'll get we you your shot. We can move the arm for sure. Yeah. <laughs> we will head to the get whale you shot. your <laughs> shot. There's no so way. Well, you we'll you just you. shout out. If you see a whale, just shout it out. I'll, I'll move we that will arm. ditch the scoop. <laughs> yeah, I will just drop it at that point. Yeah. Sometimes you only get a few seconds. That's all oh, that's all we need. Yeah. So each of you grabs that. You know, there's only there's only one manipulator for each arm. All right, I guess the right one's stowed. Yep. Super pro, Steve. Thinking, thinking well ahead. Anyways. Always prepared. Yep. <laughs> It's a wildlife photographer talking there. Wildlife uh, camera person. Crouch down, his belly on the floor, waiting. These are my last <laughs> few minutes with Herc this year. Oh, wow. You know? Oh. You out next year? Do you know yet? I will be. Okay. Oh, you don't know when yet? Correct. Gotcha. The second or third cruise, I think. So I'll slow down some more. Go faster. Oh, well, there's a fun little jelly. Uh, we at the top, here. yeah. Go faster, Josh. <laughs> faster? Yeah, go faster. Oh. I'm above you. Go faster. What are you doing? Oh, you're doing almost 15. 15. Roger. Oh, Ooh, a snipe eel. A what now? A snipe eel. <laughs> a snipe eel. Oh, yeah. that sounds awesome. There he is. Look up. Oh, yeah. Follow him. It's small. Maybe. Oh, 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 oh. oh, he's visiting. He's sniping. Hello. <laughs> yeah, he is sniping. Curiosity will do you no good. Not <laughs> here. Yeah, they're pretty fun. Um, they have these long um, sort of beak-like mouths that have teeth that are facing backwards and they use them to snag the antennas of shrimps. Whoa. Their teeth face backwards? Mm -hmm. Brutal. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so they only eat antennas? Well, they, they, they snag <laughs> the shrimps with, with their teeth so the shrimps can't get away and okay. then they open their mouths and eat them. Wow. I haven't seen this, but that, that was what I was told, how they eat. Awesome. We have a, um, a random tech question coming in asking, what is the line voltage in the cable from the ship to the ROVs? Uh, it's 2,400 volts, three phase power from the ship down to the ROVs. And that runs our, take it a little further, so that, that voltage runs our electric motor, which runs the hydraulic pump. And then there's transformers on both the vehicles, and they take a leg of the three-phase and transform that into 110 AC that feeds the main electronics housings on each of the ROVs. And then within there, there's a bunch of power switching, DC and DC to DCs and I run all the way down, you know, five volt stuff, 12, 24, whatever we kind of need inside the main electronics. Thousands. But the vehicles are each also set up to run on just 110, which is very convenient. You can plug them in on deck to the wall, basically. A 
I caught it. It's a little uh, <laughs> forium. A little what? Foraminifera. Oh. That's when we get off watch. <laughs> Foraminifera? Foram. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Oh, we were talking about the mapping that we did. Uh, I don't think we had it up, but we were talking about it. The, just the mapping that we did um, during this expedition. Mapped a few little abyssal hills. Yeah, I just have a question about the mapping software we're seeing on screen, but I don't see. <laughs> right now it's the winch. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Uh, maybe Kelly was looking at I'm. I'm processing data on MB proc, but we weren't like we weren't making a production out of it. Yeah. Um, but we yeah, we saw we were just looking at the little the donuts, the infamous donuts. Yeah. <laughs> the super cute donuts. Super adorable donuts. <laughs> they make me want donuts. <laughs> donuts for dinner. That's not what's for dinner. It's not. Oh. Oh. What is for dinner? Abrian, that was cruel. There was <laughs> for, no need for that. I didn't realize that you had <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, might, there might be midnight donuts. Maybe. Whoa. Whoa. I just add. don't have the magic touch. I'm sorry. Freshly cooked donuts are so good. Good about? Freshly make, like, made yeah. donuts. They're just fried up and, and like hot and delicious. There's a little place in the Pike Place Market, which, yeah, yeah, touristy, whatever. But their donuts, donuts are delicious. They're like these mini... Oh, like little ones, and yeah. they put the cinnamon sugar on top? You can get that. I usually get them plain. Well, Fair. okay, I usually got them plain <laughs> the two times I went 3,000 years ago. How fast can Argus ascend? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, they're switching up for uh, Neil, so we have to ask that in just a second. Oh, I know the answer. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. We do know the answer. Yeah, we asked 30 meters per minute. minute. Yeah, yeah, we asked this earlier. Yeah, yeah. I thought it might go faster, but... There is uh, a limit on how fast we can move the winch upwards. Yeah, they were asking if it has uh, limited by the winch. It is indeed. Cinnabon cinnamon buns are way too sweet and have way too much frosting and stuff on them but for we me. We had cinnamon buns yesterday, yes. and they were great, and they didn't have any frosting. You just uh, put some whipped cream on, right? Yeah, Let put, it melt a little bit? Yeah, I were... put whipped cream on it, which was a pretty good substitute. Because they were fresh. Yeah, so they, they were, were fresh hot. and hot. Yeah. Like, I could have gone from some cream cheese frosting, because that's my favorite, but the whipped cream it, was a good substitute. I did not eat them, but I saw them with my eyeballs. You can eat them with your uh, imagination. I ate them with my imagination. <laughs> that's the best way. with your imagination. Yes. Hey, you know what? You take what you can <laughs> get. There's so many things I want to eat right now. <laughs> and then we're going home. <laughs> uh, air fry donuts are awesome. Well, air fryers are just convection ovens, so I assume that they would be delicious. Yeah, mini convection ovens with like turbo boost because of the small area. Oh my gosh! Do we have a guest? We have a guest for Team Blue Water. Whoop whoop! Everybody wants to be on Team Blue Water. Everybody wants to be on the best watch. Got a question for video, Aaron. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. What's up? What's your favorite camera views to watch during ascent and descent? 
Um, I actually was creeping on Erin, other Erin, and watching her make <laughs> maps um, while watching my other other ones as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, it just depends. Everybody wants to be Erin, and you can decide who I'm talking about. Yeah, <laughs> I watch I watch uh, her quite a bit because you often see things floating through the water. But yeah, Erin was just making really cool maps, so I was tuning into her. And her I was computer. actually looking over your shoulder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So that's my favorite screen to watch during <laughs> Ascent and Descent, is if Aaron's doing something. <laughs> oh no. When you're watching somebody kill Dots, you know you're at the end. <laughs> hey, uh, what you were doing is extremely cool looking. It was really cool looking. It was like watching the world's best screensaver. <laughs> <laughs> Does it feel like making the world's best screensaver? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Except extremely complex. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what makes it the world's best. Yeah. Sure, sure. I just really enjoyed it. It is really cool. Ooh, unsea related. Except it is sea related because, you know, everything is connected. Anyone have a favorite bird? Can Answer's I answer? Now. Um, yeah, I guess introduce yourself. Yeah, hello everyone. I'm Ashley Mickens. I was on the previous watch, but I'm just up here uh, to log one. Uh, Hercules is back on deck. I yeah. really like red-tailed red -tailed hawks. I think they're very cool. They are very cool, and they make the sound that I thought that eagles made, except they don't. My favorite is the gray-headed albatross. Excellent choice. Or yeah, no, probably the gray headed or the wandering Just, albatross. Despite what they did to you. <laughs> despite <laughs> making me cry. <laughs> yep. I, I'm not force talking you. You're you're forced. Let's see. Blue. Got an offering up of Golden Eagle from the chat. Eagles are awesome. It is true. No, I, I'm trying to look. It's They're troubleshooting some audio on the front row there. And if you're interested in some super cool artwork and seeing what I do on board, I had it. I took over Nautilus Live's Instagram account today, so that's at Nautilus Live on Instagram. Uh, when will the schedule for 2022 be released? Oh, I don't know. I will have to ask and find out. Uh, can we hear the el can we hear the albatross story? Well, I don't know, Aaron. You're a wildlife photographer. You can or a videographer. Can you disclose the work that you do? Yeah, yeah, I can do this one because it's actually it's already out. But I was on a film crew down in South Georgia filming gray-headed albatross for BBC Seven Worlds, and just watched the Antarctica episode of it. It's a very emotional <laughs> piece with the albatross. So. Yeah, that was, I was down there filming for a month with uh, an amazing cameraman who's the lead cameraman, John Aitchinson and Ollie Jelly. And yeah, BBC Seven Worlds Antarctica episode. Uh, owl, yeah, owls in general are rad. Um, 
depends on the owl though like some you know different owls give you different vibes For a second, I thought Herc was holding a carrot. You look away for one second. Ashley, are you excited for the samples coming up? Sampling is going to be really, really fun. We've got a carnivorous sponge that is very exciting um, and a couple other things that we're really looking forward to processing. So probably be able to see that a little bit after Hurt comes up. I'm in deep need of seeing the rock saw happening. They used it behind my back. So. Me too. I was well, very upset. I know. Irritating. Yep. <laughs> but hopefully this time. We might, we might get to see it. <laughs> Maybe. People always, like, I'm always working when the, since we're Team Blue Water, of course, <laughs> I'm always working when the samples come on board and then someone else always beats me in there. So I can't, you know, and then I come in and you guys are like, no, no, we're good, we're good. We don't need any help. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Well, Every time. <laughs> maybe today. Maybe today will be the day. This is the wet lab. We heard that. Yeah. <laughs> you kick me out every time. And you're like, look, look at that face. We don't need that face in here. I'll reserve a spot for you this time. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. boy. Thank you. Thanks. I just closed the chat. Hang on, guys. Okay. Uh, from Aberdeen, Washington. Hello, Aberdeen. I won't be anywhere near you, but I will be in Washington. Uh, rhinoceros auklet. They are awesome. So it's a seabird rel relative to the puffin. So uh, we're at least almost talking about the water. Perfect. Got some love for the Nautilus crew from Michigan. We like you too, Michigan.
looks like we're right around 200, uh, 250 meters, so ascent is going great, in my non-ROV pilot opinion. You look at the quad feed, um, bottom left-hand corner is uh, the wet lab, preparing for the ROV to come up. They're so busy with their serious faces. They're very excited for these samples to come up. Uh, who are we looking at in the lab, and what is their position on the team? Uh, so we've got... Oh, I'm not... Yeah, <laughs> hello. We've got uh, all of our uh, scientists minus one. They are preparing everything to get ready to go.
bridge nav. Uh, we're coming up on 150 meters. Is the captain on the bridge? Thank you. Go ahead, Bridge. Okay, thank you. Um, question about if we're going to have the same set of uh, science team coming in in 2022. Uh, some of us come in just for one cruise here or there. Some of us uh, are contracted each year, so it depends. We shall see. Uh, yes, so to reiterate, we are ascending from our last uh, double double ROV dive. We'll have one more dive with just Argus starting at about midnight tonight. Um, so this uh, we are ascending from Seamount B, unnamed Seamount B. Is this the Chautauqua Seamount, like this one? Is this the one? I... Feel like I'm asking everybody. I think it yeah, might I be. Yeah, I feel like if it was, I think we'd be calling it the Shotaka Seamount. No, I, I really think we got in the habit of calling them all in names. Really? But I'm going to, yeah, look on Google if you can. I will Google. Like on Google Earth, you know? Yeah. See if it shows up. might take a second. Google Earth is a beefy boy. Oh, don't, don't worry. I mean, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be talking about other things very, very shortly anyway, but I'm just just curious. Google Earth is a chunker. <laughs> to get up there. Oh, so Aaron, I see that you're creeping on my screen. Um, every time I scroll, like there's like a bunch of lines on my screen, but it's not on yours. So it's just literally this monitor. Great. Awesome. That's why I scroll so weirdly. I have to stop and let it like load itself. <laughs> uh, let's see, we are at
Okay. Okay, Roger. Thanks for the heads up. I almost have an answer. I am. It's up to you. I haven't been told otherwise. Yeah, don't, whatever works for you. Hey, shark. Okay, that's five zero mayors, full stop. Deck control. We're at five zero meters, full stop. Deck, do you copy? Control. Five zero meters, full stop. Are we okay to continue? Uh, okay to continue. We are okay to continue. Bridge deck. Who's on radio? Deck bridge. Are we okay to continue with recovery? Awesome. You can proceed. Are you okay for me to kill my sonar?